I was talking to the Lord and I said, Lord, what must I say on this evening? And the Lord spoke to me. He said, I want you to grab your notes. See, the word that I gave you. And I said, okay, God. He said, I want you to share tonight that the devil is messing, but God still blessing. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody say the devil is messy. The devil is messy. Hallelujah. Somebody say he just messy. He just messy. That spirit just messy. Hallelujah. Don't care who it hurt. Don't care what it do. Don't care. Don't disrespect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want you to look at somebody and say there's a blessing. There's a blessing. On me tonight. God is still blessing. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. I want you to, I'm going to preach tonight because, yes, yes. Uh, hallelujah, because I, I learned how, amen, when the enemy go to cut it up, you, hallelujah, you, you get mad with that spirit, amen, because we got to put the whole arm of God on, hallelujah, because the enemy showed up to cripple the church, amen. I'm talking about the body of Christ, amen. That devil have to put his whole accolades out, amen. That devil done put all his weapons out, amen. Hallelujah, but I'm glad it don't take a whole chat to make God move, amen. He said there's two or three catching in the ring. Hallelujah, we can come in the prayer of the and shut the devil down, hallelujah. I feel an apostolic anointing, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Folks don't like it because of cause, amen. Hallelujah. Paul said, why you strive against me without a cause? Hallelujah. We got to understand, amen. Right when it's beginning to break for us, amen. The devil gets messy, amen. I want to talk to you tonight, hallelujah. The race ain't given to the swimmer, nor the battle to the shower.
the book, in the book of Psalms. Hallelujah. Psalm 68, chapter 68 and 16. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, we're going to ride tonight. Hallelujah. Nobody mad but the devil. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yes, Lord. Psalms chapter 68 and 15. And it says, The hill of God is as the hill. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go to 68, 16. Verse 16. Why leap ye, ye high hills? This is the hill which God desired to dwell in. Yet the Lord will dwell in it forever. Now, I, I want to say this here. Because in the book of Psalms, chapter 121 and 1 said, I will look up my eyes unto the hill. So it's something about the hill, amen, because, because when, we, when we read the scripture, amen, uh, uh, Moses had to go up to the mountain. That means he had to go higher, amen. Hallelujah, because, because in a time, amen, we need to hear something from God, we got to go higher. Because what happens is, amen, in the body of Christ, amen, we try to go higher, but we're looking at our level, amen. And one thing I learned about Moses, amen, when he needed a word from God, amen, he couldn't stay in the mix of the proclamation. He couldn't stay in the mix of the complaining, amen. He had to, de he had to depart from them and go to higher, amen, because that was a sound he was looking for, amen. And it was the sound of destruction. It was the sound of his strength. It was the sound of healing. Amen. When God spoke, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. When we talk about Jesus, amen, Jesus told him, amen. He told the disciples, he said, listen, I want y'all to go on the other side. Get in the ship, amen, and go on the other side. He said, well, I'm going to pray. I'm about to go to the mountain. I got to go up higher. Which coming all by 
help. Hallelujah. Somebody say help is already here. Hallelujah. I said the other day, I ain't saying gonna. It's already in operation. Because we got to get our minds up. That is already on me. It is what God gonna do. It's what God is doing. So let's start moving right now. Because if he's gonna do it,